Welcome back to Let's Play Suikoden. Last time, after recruiting Eileen, um, the guy whose name I actually have forgotten, not Kirkus, um, Eileen's husband, and freeing a town from Imperial control under craze of all people, and this time, we're going to go save elves from genocide. The scale of conflicts in this game rises dramatically at this point. So we need to head further south to get to the Great Forest where the elves reside. Uh, we will get be getting the ability to move faster on the world map in the near future, at least. Some characters are clearly built to not for actual combat. Oh yeah, Pawn, we got back in the process of, um... Knocking Craze out of his position. You have Clay Guardian, Voice of the Earth. You have a trick rune equipped. You have the boar rune. Right, it's only Kirkus who doesn't have a rune equipped, which I should have done. Like, I could have at least thrown, like, a water rune onto Kirkus. Huh. Oh well. I think I went too far west. Described as being south from this town. Lapont, that was his name. Kalon is the town. have said southeast or something. The Great Forest Village. Ah, friggin' tourists. Well, let's take a look around. It's a new town. Might be some new recruitable faces. Uh, ooh. Heck yeah, I'll take a blacksmith in the castle. And this town still has a generic blacksmith, so don't worry about that. Sonsuke. Down to a hundred bits per person. 
So there goes the theory of it gets more expensive the further you get from Gray, uh, Gregminster. Alright, what do they have in the hardware store? Medicine, Mega Medicine, Needle, and Counter Crystal. Hmm. Counter Culture Crystal? No. Let's see. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Guardian. No. Trick rune, huh? Oh god, it's the Steel Command, isn't it? <laughs> I just ran! Oh. That would probably be, like, super handy if they, you know, used the ground. Gremio this turn. God, we have no killing power with this party. This is not the time to level Eileen and Jupo. I need to level them on my own time. I'm realizing. Oh. Pawn doesn't have the essence, does he? Crap. Jupo does. Which is a better use of his time than dealing like 12 damage. Bye, Gremio. Yeah, so I'm gonna be right back. I need a proper party. Oh, I thought I'd just chat up a couple NPCs, and Marie mentions needing a cook. So, I think that means that I can recruit the guy in, uh... I'm terrible with town names, apparently. Coco? Coco? Kaku, okay. Dude. I'm holding right, by the way. You're the worst. Uh, the party I decided to go with was Hero, Gremio, Pawn, Kirkus, Meg, and Luke. Um, because Meg has assassin's dagger which ooh actually now that I think about it oh no that is a long range weapon I was gonna say I can have pawn in the back because he's using the boar rune anyway but uh. I also went ahead and just bought two more water crystals just because <sighs> might as well you can never have too many if I'm desperately in need of money uh, I can sell some or just farm water room pieces. Uh, was it here or was it the previous town? It's the other town over here. So let's go ahead and get the chef first. Yeah, it's in here. We needed to come here anyway. No, you're right. Having a good chef raises morale, which is important. Alright, 
So now we have some extra free healing. So let's actually head to the Great Forest. Uh, let's free will this fight, see how it goes. Uh, Luke is obviously supposed to be a caster, so I'm not too concerned with his damage. But his damage must be pretty good, because I didn't see anything in there besides Pawn that I was disappointed with. And Pawn is level 10, and... Oh crap, uh, strength, let's see. Six and three. I, I don't need to upgrade Luke's weapon. If Luke is melee attacking, it's because I'm free willing, and it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, both Kirkus and, um, Meg are doing pretty well damage wise. Meg's doing like 30, but she's gaining levels and she's actually one step ahead of everyone with her weapon because it's actually level 6. I wonder if I'm actually able to boost over 5 using the um, blacksmith in town now. Oh god, these rocks could take a while because they're weirdly tanky. Despite being totally unrewarding to fight. Wait, feather? Defense plus nine? And anyone can equip that. Holy crap. Okay. So, that is more defense than I think my armor grants. Uh, would the shoulder pads be an upgrade for anyone? I'll give him over to Grumio. I almost called him Grumio. If anyone has not watched Plebs, which is most people... Uh, watch plebs if you like uh, British sitcoms at all. It's really good. It's like a generic British sitcom, but it's set in ancient Rome. It's as dumb and fantastic as it sounds. It might have done me some good to grind a few levels. Uh, this is not the way that I wanted to go. Either way, I'm staying at the inn. I might as well get him a little bit of experience as we go. Or, uh, whatever. I do find it interesting that they separate the inn and tavern, technically. Just in case I get my crap kicked in again, I'm gonna go ahead and save. Good 
good chunk of experience from that fight, actually. Might have been worth bringing Cleo, but... Ah, 90s kobolds. Go ahead and pop Fog of Deception, why not? And the Shredding. Yeah, the Shredding is a very powerful spell. Which is probably part of why they stuck it onto Odessa. Like, a fixed rune onto Odessa. <laughs> oh yeah, I gave the Dragon Seal Incense Burner to Pawn. Well, it's a powerful spell, and Luke has a huge magic stat, so... Pawn. It's kind of my fault for not dogpiling one, though. <laughs> dogpiling. 90s kobolds. So, if Pawn can survive a fight with Kobolds... Which is a very th sad thing to have to say... I'm just doing a treasure run here for now, but... Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to grab these chests and then run for the hills. And by the hills, I mean the town of the Great Forest. The Great Forest Village, I guess I would best call it. To recover those spell charges. Yeah, your party members will not stay underleveled for very long in this game. Let's see. Is there anything, like, over here? This is one of the more labyrinthine areas, I think. Do not want to deal with holy spirits. Yeah, your party members will get caught up very quickly in this game. Oh, wow. That was the route to the Elven Village. Oh, Kobold Village. So that's what they're supposed to look like here. Hmm. 
about everyone, everyone is sick, huh? And missing, apparently. Is that a dog food bowl? I like the painting of the kobold on the wall. I do want to keep poking around here because there's a lot of treasure here. This one is actually a scary fight. Okay. Four rune, the second. Let me make sure. Yeah. Four rune, the second one. Why don't we just pop a shredding wind on the back? You know, the Shredding Wind spell reminds me a lot of the basic, or the level 2 wind spell from Quest 64, which is a game I still defend. It is not as offensively bad as everyone says. It's not particularly good, or close to being the best RPG on the system, Paper Mario still has it beat. a certain charm to it. It has some fan-freaking-tastic music. The combat system is pretty novel, really. accessory. Alright. Let's head back to the village of the Great Forest. Checking how many bits I'd accumulated here. <laughs> right, I have to go around. No. Oops. Accidentally punching my desk. Just the one Holly Spirit was worth a load of XP. I assume I don't get XP for the Holly Boys running.
Are we all level 20 now? Yeah, sweet. I'm gonna have to come in here with, like, Cleo and low-level characters just to nuke things. With her AoE spells. Alright, so we've made it past the Great Forest. Oh crap, Cobalt Mages. That seems scary. I kill things that are scary because they are different to what I'm accustomed to. In other words, I'm American. Yeah, they have some way higher magic defense. They wear that to make people think that they have rune magic. Because if you think about it, there has been literally one encounter so far where the enemy could do anything but a basic physical attack. And that was the zombie dragon. He said it was just past, but I'm not seeing any sign. If I start getting slightly delirious, I'm sorry, it's just really warm in this room. At least it gave a lot of money. This looks like an elven village, yeah. But what could possibly be befalling the elves that would make them even consider helping with the kobolds problems? They seem hostile after all. Find out next time on Let's Play Suikoden. See you guys then.